if I got to get dysfunctional for you to understand what I'm talking about, y'all, let me go to this side. So we got to get volatile and toxic for you. I got to throw something for you to know I'm upset. Truth. Rather speaking the truth in love, we ought to grow up in every way to him who is the head into Christ. Here's what's powerful about this passage. It says, speaking the truth in love, we grow up in every way. Truth not only grows the person who's willing to hear it, truth grows the person who's willing to speak it. Jimmy Evans says, truth without love is mean. Love without truth is meaningless. Truth in love is medicine. So there are two types of truth you got to speak in a relationship. Can I give them to you? God's truth, but also your truth. For rela- this is what Jimmy Evans says. For relationships to work, we not only need to speak God's truth, we have to speak ours because you cannot improve on meeting the needs of your partner without their input. They must be able to speak their truth. Am I making sense? So, so this means that you give them the gift of what Henry Cloud calls otherliness. It means you have a right to an opinion that's different than mine. It means that even though we are one, the oneness is not absolute unity, it's composite unity. It's not we two halves and we come together and that make a whole. That's not a, that God's math is multiplication, not addition. But multiplication is there's, we not a half and we come together and make a whole. We two wholes and we come together and we make one. And so we are, here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. That same word for oneness that describes the Trinity is the word one that describes the union in marriage, one flesh. So it means that we're like the Trinity. We're one but distinct so I get to think different I get to feel different I don't have to like what you like I don't have to agree and you got to love you got to love me do you want me to do you want to be with me or do you want me to be you I'm done Tario you'd be amazed how some people will only hear truth from their partner if it's a truth they agree with. You, you, you want to be with you? (laughs) If you want to be with you, be single. Number four, trust. And if there's any area where I feel like a lot of couples, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. If this is the area where a lot of couples struggle, it's right here. Because here's the truth. Y'all ready? When I say truth, meaning anecdotally, I can't speak for everybody. This is my experience in ministry and marketplace and dealing with people. Most people trust their best friend more than their uh, spouse. In my experience, I'm not saying it's everybody. In my experience, most. Most. In my experience, most people's best friends know them better than their spouse. And it's because of trust. Whoever goes about slandering reveals secrets, but he who is trustworthy keeps a thing covered. Here's what I love about Proverbs 31, and I think This principle should apply to men and women. It says the heart of her husband safely trusts in 